Good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of The Delicious Drop, your fortnightly update from our team here at Enbrit. First of all, I want to share some bunch of information and opportunities that are coming up and it's all in this newsletter. So we've got the Just Down the Road Phase 2 campaign that is being launched from August. Now this is a great opportunity. This time round, we're giving you the opportunity as tourism operators to get involved and actually um, continue to invest in your product to highlight them through this campaign. The buy-in's $250 and it will see you activated across that entire campaign um, on your dedicated listing on the Visit Morton Bay website. There is all sorts of marketing attached to the campaign. For more information, as I said, check out the newsletter here or you're welcome to reach out to Luke and the team. Last week, you might have seen that we launched a new program, the LEAP program. This is part of a leadership series that we've launched for the 24-25 year. Now, we're running a couple of teasers. So the way it's gonna work is there's three teaser sessions. You can register, it's $49 to attend one of those teaser sessions. It's a bit of a networking opportunity as well. So we'll have some food and drinks. Um, come and learn about a mini part of that program and the bit that will be facilitated throughout that networking is um, managing difficult personalities. We'll have some networking, some laughs, and we'll also share with you what the full LEAP program is going to look like. Uh, we're not facilitating this, we've partnered with a company uh, called Shift who does this right across Australia and has been working in this space and driving outcomes for many, many years. We hope you'll join us for the teaser and we hope you'll love it like we do and jump on board for the full program. It's hard to believe it's already been, what, 10 days since Jetty to Jetty Fun Run and Half Marathon. What a huge success it was. From what the team are telling me, it is the first year ever that the race has entirely sold out. So that is the half marathon, the 10K, the, 10, uh, the 3K, the 5K, all of it completely sold out. Uh, we are still doing running the figures and looking at the stats for that and building our reports to share with you the outcomes. But all initial feedback was an incredibly, hugely successful event. I want to say thank you to all of our volunteers that helped us with that event, but also say thank you to the Morton Bay Road Runners for their contribution and their trust in us at Embraer to deliver this event on their behalf. It's a great event on the calendar, and we know that people not only come for the event, but they stay, they play, and they explore all the region has to offer. These next couple of months, we've got a few more corporate events coming up. So we do have the uh, Morton Bay Business and Innovation Awards taking place, as well as the Finno Finonomics, uh, which is our business luncheon where we've got a number of guest speakers on a panel, including Wayne Bennett, to talk about the contribution and outcome that having our very own NRL team here in the city of Morton Bay has made in its first two years. Tickets are gonna sell out for that. I encourage you, if you wanna attend, get your tickets now. Now for both of those events, we do have a range of sponsorship opportunities available. Uh, there are only two categories available now to sponsor for the Morton Bay Business and Innovation Awards. If you would like to get behind your industry here in the Morton Bay and sponsor that, or you'd like to be a table sponsor or a sponsor of the Phenomics, <laughs> business luncheon, please reach out to Lindsay Lawler, Shane Newcomb, Belinda Boyce, or um, you can touch base with Zoe in our team as well and she can direct you through. Uh, so please let us know that those opportunities are limited. Last week was a really exciting week for Visit Morton Bay. So the team brought into region and hosted Tourism and Events Queensland's Media and Trade Familiarisation team. Now this team is based here in Brisbane at the TEQ offices in the city, but that what they do is they work with international offices all around the world to curate and drive itineraries for media and travel trade from overseas come down to Queensland, experience what we have to offer, go home and sell it or go home and write about it. This team hadn't explored this region in all corners and parts and naturally 48 hours is not a very long time to try and get them. But there is a little snapshot of what they did and how much fun they had in the newsletter. We're really proud and excited to work with Tourism and Events Queensland, Brisbane Economic Development Agency and all our stakeholders over this next 12 months. Um, and we look forward to working with our tourism operators to keep driving outcomes and opportunities for you to get involved in. These opportunities like hosting this for last week wouldn't have been possible without all of the tourism operators who got behind us and supported this. So there's a lot of tourism operators. Was, I think there was a list of about 15. And this is everything from accommodation to tours to um, lunches and dinners. 
Even some of our amazing farms through the um, fan network provided produce for these guys to try. So they got to try local food when we uh, cooked them dinner up at Bribie Holiday Homes. But they literally went from the hinterland to the coastline. They explored as much as we could fit in. We've already seen a couple of outcomes just this week from that for Mill. So thank you to everyone that supported that. We look forward to bringing more of those opportunities and driving more outcomes over these next 12 months.